Amanda Borges here with your training camp report brought to you by McClenny Equipment and Tractor Sales and local 234 plumbers and pipe fitters. Today was the first day of full pads for the Jaguars, but Gus Bradley was not pleased with today's practice. After practice, we could hear him talking very loudly to his team, and he talked to us about that, and he said, listen, we did not practice up to standard, and the guys need to know that. He said sometimes that happens after a day off, but regardless of the reason, it's just totally unacceptable. We also heard from Blake Bortles after practice, and he said the same thing. He said we could just feel it. It wasn't the best practice, and we know that we have to get better. He said that Gus talking to them was needed, and obviously Gus is the coach of this team, so players listen to him, and they're expecting to come out here and be better tomorrow. Now, we did talk to Blake about his overall consistency and how he's a better practice player now, and he said it should be that way. Blake said, you know, it's year two in this system. I should feel comfortable. I should be a better practice quarterback, and he feels that way. He says that he loves the way this team feels. He says from the secondary to the offensive line, the defensive line, he said all around, he notices the improvement and it helps challenge him as a quarterback. He also mentioned Dante Fowler Jr. and Yannick Ngakwe saying that he notices them and he's been challenged by them in practice multiple times. And he likes what he sees from them. Today was the first time doing two minute drills live and Gus said that they need to work on it more and they will do that more between now and the first preseason game. Someone that Gus did compliment today was Ramsey, saying he has really good instincts. Jalen Ramsey did have his first interception of training camp today, so that was good to see. He picked off a pass right in front of Rashad Green, so there was a little bit of seminal competition there. There's only been one full week of training camp, and today was the first day in full pads. So we'll see how they continue training camp. I'll check back with you tomorrow.